Hello, my name is Dennis Vechter, Research Lecturer at NHL Stenden. In this course, the key topic is performance measurement. However, measurement is only one element of performance management. And performance management consists of several elements. Elements that need to be organized in a logical and consistent manner. And this is required to improve performance on the long term. Organizing only one element may lead to a short-term success. However, chances are very high that you will fall back in your original way of doing and your original level of performance. So what are these elements of performance management? The first element is vision and mission. How do we see the future? And what is our reason of existence in this future? It is also important to consider if our people are involved in this vision and mission, are they committed to it? And what is our definition of success? Based on the vision and mission, we can define key success factors in the organizational structure. Key success factors are the factors that are important to achieve success. The factors that we need to organize well to actually have success. And the organizational structure defines who is responsible for the success and how do we divide the activities that lead to success. From key success factors and organizational structure, we are moving on to making plans. Plans for the long term, then it's called strategy, and plans for the short term, then we call it execution. Which plans and which activities are required to accomplish our success? The fifth element of performance management is then performance measurement, key topic of this course. Which measurements are relevant? And these measurements are connected to the key success factors. Then we need to set goals, the sixth element, and these goals need to be challenging and feasible. The seventh element is evaluation. How are we doing? Are we on track in accomplishing our success? And do we know what works and what doesn't? The eighth element of performance management is rewards. What is it that people are rewarded for? This very much determines the behavior and motivation of people in our organization. Rewards can be financial and non-financial, of course, such as appreciation or personal attention. Rewards also can be let's say, viewed from the um, reverse side of it, namely what are people punished for or which behavior is certainly not appreciated. And these rewards again need to be in line with all the other elements in performance management. The ninth element of performance management is information and system. Which information do we need to evaluate our performance? Information can be uh, feedback, then it is corrective, meaning after the fact. Information can also be feed forward, then we anticipate on future developments. And the tenth and last element of performance management is performance management itself. We've seen that performance management consists of uh, a set of elements that need to be logically and consistently organized. Now, the outside world, our competition, our consumers may change over time. Now, how do we keep on track that all aspects of performance management are still up to date and working properly? That's also an important element to organize in performance management. So much about performance management. Thank you for your attention.